Check. Check. Hello, my name is Patrick Crossman. The life of a dirtbag. Patrick, why cannot, why cannot you do that? Fun now is greater than fun later. Consequences are temporary. Experience over observation. I've lived by these principles since I was 14. The same age that I got this backpack. More on this backpack later. This code, my manifesto, allowed me to do as much skiing and shenanigans as possible, leaving any career prospects and other ambitions to take the back seat. But even from the back seat, I graduated, got a bachelor's degree, skied hundreds of days, drank likely thousands of beers, and changed precisely zero diapers. Life was simple. Meanwhile, my sisters started families. I became a cool, semi-present uncle, interested mostly in trying to teach the kids how to ski backwards. It seemed hard what my sisters were doing, raising all those kids. They were tired, and I was in no rush to do anything in the morning other than be hungover. And of course, ski. But you can ski hungover. <laughs> Fast forward to 2011, I break my arm rollerblading. I can't turn it over anymore. Supination. Well now, almost a decade later, I can uh, almost turn it over. Speaking of turning points, I was 23 and I had no professional experience. My last girlfriend dumped me because I vomited on her in a hot tub. No footage of that. I needed a plan. So I made a five-year plan. Go to Nate, get a boring corporate job, and coast. I couldn't figure out how to do a tie, so I'm not wearing one. This worked out. Five years later, I worked at IBM. So, uh, what do you think? And I met someone who would put up with my shenanigans. Oh, oh that's the biggest Charlie horse ever! I started doing stand-up comedy. I am my cat's personal trainer. I skied some urban, and I skied a hill near my house. Shit. Oh man, here's the, here's the thing. I won't have any light in here, so it doesn't really mean like I need to film anyway, but this is really cool. Yeah, go ahead. I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm going alone. I'm right behind you. This is crazy. All right, let's do this. In pursuit of the chase, a life not to waste. Roll up your time into blunts and disgrace. I will keep the pace. Sprinting on foot, tight with the lace. Luck favors Wilming, who in the right place. Mind set, goal driven. I'm thinking all time because I want to... I proposed to my then future wife at Panorama. I know. It would be better if this clip was in Kimberly. Ashley, will you marry me? <laughs> but hey, we did our vows up at the top of Rosa on our honeymoon. That's got to be worth something. Oh yeah, and I had my bachelor party on the hill. Planning my steps like a pawn on the track to queenship. In fact, I'm chasing the greatness. I'm never the slack. Only look forward, never look back. Yes! Yes! There weren't many consequences. 2019, I had a minor PCL sprain, and I, I even got on skis at Pano once that year. Count it. We hiked North Star Mountain a lot in the last few years. When I look at this footage of my dad blasting up North Star Mountain on his skins, leaving me panting in a beer-soaked sweat, barely able to keep up, I think about the path that I've been on and where it inevitably leads. I think about this 20-year-old backpack, once capable, now decrepit, now unable to do what it used to. 
It ain't what it used to be. I keep thinking about his philosophy, which is to ski a hundred days, you can't get hurt. And this approach is, well, quite different from my dirtbag manifesto. And he is doing quite well for himself. I tore my ACL in 2020 and I got it replaced with a piece of my hamstring in 2021. Two days before surgery, we find out that Ashley is pregnant. 2021 was the first year since I was 14 that I didn't get on skis once. I spent the winter taking my physio very seriously, becoming happier every day, moving closer to being myself again. I was barely healed by my son's due date. And the day before he was delivered, I crashed my mountain bike into a bush and I had a limp for the next four weeks, the first month of his life. I know something needs to change. So my new rules, my new manifesto, fun now is equal to fun later. Consequences have consequences. Observation improves experience. In other words, look before you leap. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> Don't be a dirtbag. <laughs> Or maybe be a different kind of dirtbag.